Seemingly so close to our last update, Planet Zoo has just announced update 1.12, which is gonna mark our 12th DLC for Planet Zoo, which we should be getting news for tomorrow. But alas, we're gonna talk a little bit about the new features that this update has, and kind of why I feel very underwhelmed by this whole thing. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Welcome everyone, my name is Leaf. It's so great to have you guys back here once again for another Planet Zoo news news recap. So of course we did receive news a couple days ago that we are getting a live stream. I believe it should release today. Uh, and that's going to be great. I can't wait for that. That's just going to be great. But, and we also got news about Jurassic World Evolution 2, but that's not what this video is about today. No, we're talking about the three new features that were added or going to be added in update 1.12. So without further ado, let's kind of chat about these. Obviously, we all know the diorama trend. It kind of came and went, but Planet Zoo is delivering us a very interesting tool. It's essentially going to be a block in the sky, so this is going to be a very interesting new map type. Uh, so obviously, we're going to be able to build our own dioramas. We could see this one right over here, made by the wonderful Joseph Griffiths. He's actually a really awesome developer. I believe he works as a full capture artist at Frontier. Very very cool guy go follow him on Twitter uh, but he made this beautiful diorama and of course we're gonna be able to build all these dioramas again you guys may remember my dioramas Rudy's dioramas I think I Stan made one maybe drew did too but of course we're finally gonna be able to make these guys without needing to worry about like the rest of the map in the way so that's gonna be kind of cool I know these kind of aren't in popular demand anymore but hopefully this new feature will be able to inspire a lot of you guys to experiment with this a little bit more. It's a trend that I'm really happy will come back into like the YouTube sphere and stuff like that because I know so many of you guys did enjoy those diorama speed builds. I did too because they were super relatively easy to make, but I don't know. I just always like these nice condensed projects. So that's going to be a really awesome feature, and it's super cool that Rudy got a shout out over there. It's just really awesome seeing them acknowledge their community. So beyond that, we also have guided tours. And let me just tell you guys, the educator staff is getting completely buffed. Like, it, 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 it nerfs all the other staff in comparison. They're just D tier at this point. Educator is absolutely A tier. So that's going to be really awesome. So, of course, guided tours will be sort of like a VIP tour. Uh, so it's going to be additional income, it seems. So that's going to be really fun for franchise players, as well as, you know, challenge and career mode players, wherever you guys are. But it's going to be super awesome. This is a feature that many of the realistic zoo people, such as, you know, me and Eben and Goron and stuff have been talking about for a while. We've been very interested in something very much like this that would function as a way to bring in a lot more real guest interaction into our zoos. So that's going to be really awesome to have. I can't wait to see how that all comes into play. And beyond that, we also have the bulldozer tool. So of course the bulldozer tool seems to be a very interesting piece. I think this is actually going to be, it's Okay, hear me out. I feel like this is a response to modded scenery pieces because you're gonna be able to mix and match what type of object you want to remove with the bulldozer. So you can remove all of, let's just say, the taxidermy props all in one go. And then it could just work just like that. You could clear your map out of modded props. That's going to be so friggin' awesome. Oh my gosh. Even beyond that, let's just say you don't like the Siberian pea shrub in your zoo for some reason. Uh, you could just set it to that and then you could just remove them all from your zoo by using however the bulldozer tool is going to work. That's going to be really, really awesome. So of course, that is really it for this update. And we should probably talk about why I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, it's seemingly small. We have one new tool. We have one new guest interaction and we have one new map type. Uh, keep in mind that the last update gave us at least 15, 16 different map types. Uh, so you can probably understand why I feel a little bit underwhelmed. Uh, not the, not digging on these features at all. I completely love these. Please understand. Um, but I still feel like it's not that much. Now, of course, this leads us into the DLC. How will the DLC balance this out? I think we're all kind of wondering how all of these kinds of features will relate to the DLC. 
and of course guided tours, diorama mode, bulldozer tool. These really aren't screaming birds, but you gotta think back to like the Europe pack when we got restaurants. I mean, I know Europe's known for great food, but what about that made us think restaurants? And even the last update where we got the Twilight pack and the matching feature was like biome skirts. What the hell does that have to do with Twilight, you know? Like, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But I hope you guys are able to speculate in the comments down below about what we're going to be getting soon. Because I'm very excited to see what this could possibly bring for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Hopefully you guys will all be at the live stream later today. I think today? Yeah, today. Uh, and yeah, that's really it. My name is Leaf, and thank you guys so, so much for even stopping by to this humble little channel. Have the most wonderful of wonderful days, and I'll take see you guys later.